A Utah man becomes the first person in the world to climb the seven summits and sail the seven seas. Martin Fry completed the 11 year journey on April 17th. Tonight, Kimberly Nelson spoke with him about his journey. She joins us now in the studio with that story. Well, Kim and Don, when Martin Fry set out to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, he had no idea that it would be the start of an 11 year mission that may just land him in the Guinness Book of World Records. Martin Fry has always had a love for the ocean, but he never dreamed it would have taken him here. Sailing all seven seas. But Martin's 11 year journey didn't start on a sailboat. Believe it or not, it began on an African safari. We were on safari and we decided we'd include Kilimanjaro in our um, itinerary. Martin caught the climbing bug and four years later successfully scaled Alaska's Denali. On Denali, we were stuck in a, in a storm for six days at 17,000 feet. We couldn't go up, we couldn't go down, it was a complete whiteout. And it was there that my friend Steve Gasser, uh, who was my climbing partner and really good friend, uh, brought up the idea of Seven Summits. Why couldn't we do this? But Steve never made it. He passed away shortly after this photo was taken. And all of a sudden, the idea sort of said, I'm going to cl finish climbing for Steve, and that's really how I pursued that dream and I took his photo to every summit after that and uh, had a little reflective moment with Steve as my climbing partner on each of the peaks. Martin completed his mission of climbing the highest peaks on each continent when he made it to the top of Antarctica's Mount Vinson in 2012. Two months later he decided to tackle the seven seas. So we got the seven summits done. Then it was like how could I find something that still met my need for adventure and yet I could bring the family along. So they chose sailing. The Fries bought their sailing yacht Amara and sailed halfway around the world across four of the seven seas together. I think it had been 11 days since yeah. we'd seen a boat by yeah. then. They spent nine months together in the South Pacific, then continued through Indonesia, over to Africa, then Brazil, and back up to the Caribbean. So then the idea, well, if you've done that much, you might as well sail the five oceans of the world. So Martin joined the Bank Europa and the Aventura three expeditions to cross the southern and Arctic oceans, and then the Clipper round the world yacht race to sail across the North Pacific. The race started in China and some 5,700 miles later finished in Seattle on April 17th. In Seattle! Yeah! 11 years, seven peaks, seven seas, and a lifetime of stories. Anyone can do this. You just have to sign on and be willing to take on a great adventure and have a great attitude. And your dream of crossing an ocean will come true. Fry hopes that his sharing his story, he'll inspire others, particularly young people, to set goals, take on challenges, and work to overcome obstacles. And he's certainly leading by example there. What an amazing story. So yeah. Now that he's done all this, right? he's done all that, what's he going to do next? He says all he wants to do is help other people. He hopes to use his stories to help inspire others to follow their dreams. Sounds like a good plan to me. I think he can certainly sell them on that, well, can he? Yeah. <laughs> he can check that off his list. Right, All right. that's right. Thanks, Kimberly. Thanks, guys.